is one of the bonds around the, uh, the 737 simulator. Um, we've, uh, we've filled that with, uh, with water and on top of the water we've floated uh, 1,000 litres of diesel. Um, we've put a little bit of petrol in there just to give the diesel a kick and uh, make sure that it gets going uh, completely. Once the fire is fully developed, then the crews will go forward again. Um, similar uh, proportionality, 1%, uh, probably a little bit uh, a little bit more like 400 litres a minute uh, to try and get a good attack on it. And you'll see how the, uh, the product can uh, quickly knock down a, a full service fuel fire. Why four or five minutes pre-burn? Why is it so important? The, the pre-burn is so important because you want to get full involvement of the fuel. The fuel itself will take sometimes 30 to 45 seconds before it actually gets completely involved and the molecules of the fuel are starting to burn. So we want to be sure to give it a full three to four minute pre-burn. That way you have 100% thermal heat rise out of the fuel. Okay, the temperature's uh, stabilized around uh, 1650, 1650 degrees C. So that we don't offend too many of the neighbors, we'll, uh, we'll put the pressure up on the pump and we'll, uh, we'll mount the attack on that. The temperature's around about as high as it's getting. So, being sure that we have 100% involvement is to show the performance of the product. If you wanted to move uh, any further forward, you can feel the radiated heat and you'll be able to uh, feel how that heat drops when the product's applied. And also, I was just because of the risk, we normally do a fuel fire, we're going to do it in three, and he said from here, they do it in six. But we asked them to do a 1% application of the product to show that it's even 1%. Well, the product is uh, fully burned now. Uh, it's What I was explaining, I wanted them just to extinguish the fire, just to extinguish it, not build the blanket. What I'm talking about there, you extinguish the fire, once the fire is under control, then you go back standard operating procedures is to put your blanket on top to create a vapor barrier. Normal products require a reapplication every 15 minutes. Fire aid will last for a minimum of one hour.
and seawater will not affect the performance of the product by 2%. Normally, seawater affects the performance of the product by 41 to 48 percent. And I passed all the fresh water, plastic water, and seawater for the United States Navy that I just received on the And the beautiful part about Fire 2000, we are setting the standards around the world. We do business in 41 countries now. And I'm approved and certified by Underwriters Laboratory, the United States military. I'm on a committee with the United States Navy to develop the new mill spec that's going to be implemented in the next three years, removing gasoline and introducing heptane into the fire scenario. So I'm on that committee now. I serve on different committees, NFPA committees and so forth. But, but the most important thing with Fire Aid 2000 that I have been able to drive and drive home is the environmental aspect. What is taking place in the industry today is the new chemistry and the new developments in the, in the environmental situation is something very, very close to all of us. Fire Aid 2000 is the only product in the industry today that carries all types of environmental studies then contains no what no whatsoever of PFOS, PFOA, no PCs, no part of the product in Fire 2000. The ability to have a product with an unlimited shelf life. The ability to have a product that works in all weather conditions. With the new AR climate control I've introduced recently, our new certification with Underwriters Laboratory, it's going to be a three by three. We are working now on our one by three AR. And the reason that this is so important to us in the fire industry today is because of the ethanol related fuels that's coming into the market. There's so many alcohol related fuels because of the hydrocarbon fuels and everything is sort of take, going to take a back seat down the years. It's a more cleaner environment. Well, Fire Service Plus, and I have under my direction, I have been working on that for the last three and a half years. E95, E85, ethanol-related fuels, Fire Aid products work on them perfectly. I've been doing this industry study and work for the last three years. We are ahead of the curve. We're ready where other products and companies are thinking about the ethanol-related fuels. I'm already there. So if you, have a, if you have a person trapped in a vehicle, trapped in an aircraft, you can spray that individual down with fire aid and it will keep them cool and keep the fuel from burning them and keep them, keep them alive while we get them out of the vehicle or an aircraft or whatever. That's what I want to think I want to tell you.